I made this checkerboard approximately 25 years ago, I think. I can't remember exactly when it was, but it was a long time ago. It was one of my first projects that I used Envirotex on. And uh, when I did it, I, I was thinking about what if you were to force Envirotex into uh, a piece of punky wood, uh, like pressure, the way they do pressure treating. Like I knew about pressure treating. It's been around as long as I can remember. And uh, I thought about it, and then I thought, well, you know, the problem is that you'd force the Envirotex into the wood, but the pressure on the inside of the wood would force most of it back out once the uh, pressure's off. And uh, I sort of gave up on that, and then sometime later I thought, well, how about if you were to put your uh, little piece of wood into, in a vacuum and then do it that way? And I thought I'd really thought of something. And uh, this is long before the Internet and uh, YouTube. <laughs> And it uh, turns out that this sort of stuff's available. I'm born a hundred years too late, that's the problem. Anyway, I've got uh, Pentacryl here, and I've got some Envir Envirotex. I'd like to have some cactus juice that uh, the woodturners rave about, uh, but uh, it has to come from Texas, and to get a container of cactus juice sipped up here to, to Winnipeg is like about 40 bucks. So there's got to be another way to get around this. And... Um, Oh, by the way, if any of you guys know how I can get cactus juice here in Winnipeg cheap, let me know. However, I'm going to try a couple of experiments. First of all, I, I want to see what happens to pentacryl when it's under a vacuum. Will it boil away like water? And if it does, you can't use it. Now, I already know that this will work under a vacuum because I tested it last week. What I did was, I cut off a little piece of this piece of scrap here, about half an inch, and... Uh, put it under vacuum and, and then uh, mixed up some Envirotex, uh, uh, you know, it was soaking in that and then the, the atmospheric pressure pressed the Envirotex into the wood and it actually did get its way into the center of this uh, piece of wood. However, it went from the end grain where it's porous anyway. I don't know if it would go from the side or not. I've got a lot of experimenting to do to find out if Envirotex would actually work. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. See if it works. I've mixed up about an ounce of the Envirotex and also I poured about an ounce of the Pentacryl into clear little cups. And um, we'll just see now what's going to happen. Well, clearly the pentacryl is out. It started to boil just before it got to a maximum vacuum. Now the Envirotex, on the other hand, is acting pretty much the way I had expected. Those little tiny bubbles that I had created when I was mixing it, they've expanded something fantastic. And that's what makes it look like it's boiling. The Envirotex itself really isn't boiling. I don't think it's evaporating at all. And uh, you should have seen it yesterday when I had that little piece of wood in there. I had to keep turning the pump on and off and on and off or it would have just boiled right over the cup. So uh, I got to figure out a way to submerge the little piece of wood, or in this case, in my case, it's going to be a pen blank. So I have to be able to submerge it 
after everything is sort of settled down, well, everything is still under vacuum. And I think I know how I'm going to do it. <laughs>